Thanks to subscriber requests, today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom t-shirt design in Photoshop, print ready each and every single time. Welcome back to Story Graphics everybody, home of graphic design content. I hope your day is chill and all good. Thanks to a subscriber, I'm bringing to you today a quick tutorial on how to set up a custom t-shirt design in Photoshop. You may have some really cool designs, but you want to transfer them onto t-shirts. Here's what you need to do. There are four main things you need to keep in mind when designing a custom t-shirt design. Firstly, the, the dimensions of your design. Then you will need to make sure the resolution is on point. The third thing to keep in mind is the color mode of your design. And finally, the colors themselves. I will explain each point now, as well as a bonus tip at the very end. Before however, it is important to keep in mind how you want to print your t-shirt design. If you use an online service such as Spreadshirt or Design by Humans, they're going to have downloadable PSD templates, which will have your color mode, your dimensions and resolution already set up for you. But I'm going to show you how to set up a t-shirt design manually without such services. Imagine a t-shirt design and somebody's torso. The smallest dimensions I want to use are going to be around 12 inches by 14 inches. Of course, for all over t-shirt designs, you want to accommodate for that. But use 12 by 14 as the smallest measurements and increase the size if need be. You must be using a 300 ppi resolution for your t-shirt designs. This will ensure high quality, crisp and clean printing. Seeing as we're looking at printing, you want to use a CMYK color mode for your custom t-shirt designs. Regarding colors, if you use a digital laser printer, you can get away with having gradients on your design. But it is a smart idea, especially for screen printing, to have your design in block colors and not blended gradients. As you can see here, I've set up my t-shirt design so that it's in block colors with no gradients. So if you are screen printing your t-shirts, you should not use gradients. However, if you have a design that has gradients, you have to forget about printing it, right? Well, you can make a slight adjustment. Upload it to Illustrator and then open up the image trace window. Use the ignore white option here to ignore the background if you have one and then select the color option. Select as few colors as possible while still having your design look good and then click preview. It may take a while for it to preview. I've selected a few more colors here. Now you have to go up to Object, Image Trace, and then Expand. Now your design is in block colors and also a vector. You can then transfer it to Photoshop and then onto a t-shirt from there. On the topic of t-shirts, I washed the t-shirt I bought from a very own store and it came out just great. It isn't cut out or stuck on, but a design that's printed directly into the fabric. This specific design is no longer in my store however, but there are many cool designs as well as artistic prints. So if you want to help out my channel, check it out in the link in the description below or at the very end of this video. So did you find this tutorial on how to set up a custom t-shirt design in Photoshop helpful? Let me know in the comment section below and like and share this video if you did like the tutorial. And subscribe for my 5 weekly graphic design uploads if you haven't done already. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.